Welcome to Grayon Mac. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a circle in uh, outside this circle are two tangent lines that extend outward and uh, from the point of intersection uh, eight units is from the point of intersection eight units from the tangent above is a line and 9 units from the tangent of this uh, Welcome to Grayon Mat. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a circle and outside this circle are two tangent uh, lines and a part of the tangent on the on the upper tangent is 8 units uh, from that point of intersection an intersection is also drawn identified and from the bottom from the intersection we have nine units and a nine unit length is identified when these two points are connected and these two points uh, actually has given us to be seven units and we are required to find the area of the circle Okay, so our idea for this problem is to compare the areas of this uh, uh, this portion, this these two triangles, these two triangles. I mean, uh, this two is equal to the uh, area of this. I mean, these two, this one plus this triangle is equal to the area of this triangle and these two triangles plus these two triangles so but first we need to get the uh, length of this uh, the unknown length this this length and this length in this length because they actually form uh, right triangles and this triangle the seven the triangle with the seven eight and nine lengths can be found by hero's formula okay so first let us find the value the length of this this length and this length and the other lengths, this length and this length. Okay, so we can label this length as x and this as x, and this should be 7 minus x, and this should be 7 minus x also. Uh, these two are both x because they have a point of intersection outside from a tangent point and like this 7 minus x and 7 minus x and we are to uh, next is we say that this x plus this length which is actually x plus 9 is equal to this length which is the sum of 7 minus x and 8 so this becomes 7 plus 8, 7 minus x plus 8, so this becomes 15 minus x. Okay, so we say that the lower tangent point is x plus 9 is equal to the upper tangent point, which is 15 minus x. And therefore, we have uh, x. Then we have two. Then this becomes plus x. Then this becomes negative nine. You have to add that and this negative nine to cancel this out. So we have two x is equal to six. So x is equal to three. Okay. So so if this is three, then this is three also. 
and this then is 7 minus 3 so this becomes 4 and this becomes 7 minus 3 also which is 4 so let's write 4 here okay okay so first is we need to represent the whole area with these two uh, triangles i have drawn a line from uh, this center to the tangent point and we see two right triangles so if you have two right triangles then that is simply one half times the base times height but since they are two then we say that two times one half times the base which is the radius let's say the base is the radius unknown uh, multiplied by the height so the height is both 12 so since they are two right triangles so this becomes 12 okay that is the one way to represent the area of the uh, two triangles is equal to our next representation later okay so for the next representation uh we have to add this area of the five triangles this this and this and the seven eight and nine set the triangle with the sides of seven eight and nine okay so for this part we have two right triangles that are we have the base of the radius and the height of four so we have two times uh, one half times r times four and we have to add the area of the uh, next two triangles and that is the radius is unknown so it's the same but we have to make the base as three because this is three for this triangle so we have two times one half times r times three then we need to add the area of the seven the triangle with the seven eight and nine sides okay so setting aside the equation uh, we next find the area of the triangle with the uh, sides of seven eight and nine so we are going to use the Hero's formula. Okay, so to find the area of any triangle given the sides, uh, we have the area, the square root of S times uh, S minus A times S minus B times S minus C, where S is the semi perimeter and A, B, and C are the lengths of the sides given for the given triangle. Okay, so let us first get the uh, semi perimeter so s is equal to one half times seven plus eight plus nine so this becomes 15 plus nine is 24 so s is equal to one half times 24 and s is equal to 12. okay so we can now find the area of this uh triangle with the sides of seven eight and nine so Earlier we have the formula, so s is equal to 12 times s minus so 12 minus 7 times 12 minus 8 times 12 minus 9. So we have area is equal to 12 times 5 times. 4 times 3. So notice that this 4 times 3 can be written as 12. So but since uh, we can get out this 12 square, this becomes 12 square because and we can since that is a perfect square, <laughs> then we can take it outside of the radical sign. So we have a is equal to 12 square root of 5. For the area of this triangle, this triangle. 
Okay, so the area of this is the 7, 8, 9 triangle is 12 square root of 5. Okay, so to simplify things, we have to cancel this. So we have 12R is equal to this. Cancel that 4R plus cancel this. We have 3R plus 12 square root of 5. So we have 12R minus 7R, so 12R. This big, if you uh, put this 3 and 4 to the left hand side, you have to subtract that. So 12 minus 7 is 5R is equal to 12 square root of 5. So R, if you divide both sides by 5, R is equal to 12 square root of 5 over 5. Okay, so now we are now ready to find the area of the circle. So area is equal to pi times R squared. And area is equal to pi times 12 square root of 5 over 5 square. So this becomes area is equal to pi times the 144 times 5 all over. Since the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, so this becomes 5. So all over 25. And we can cancel this out. So this becomes 5. So area is equal to 144 over 5 pi and square units and that is our answer thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.